Prior proper planning prevents piss poor patio pitcher party performance. Well, it's finally above freezing here in the Midwest. It's a perfect time for patio beers. Now I know what you're thinking, Miles. You just walk out on the patio, you grab a beer and you're having a good time. Uh-uh. There's some steps that go into drinking patio beers and today I'm gonna teach you how to drink patio beers. First of all, gotta be watching the weatherman. As soon as he says it's 33 degrees, that's a trigger in your head. Time to start the patio beer process. I want the patio party beers process started pronto. So really step one is just make sure the weather's right. I got that today. What is it? 40, 30, 40 degrees out, sun shining. And uh, I think this is the first time I'm gonna say it. It's really not too bad with this wind. Side tip, you don't wanna be the dummy in the shaded corner of the patio. It's not warm enough yet to just be willy nilly in the shade. You gotta make sure you got direct sunlight. One, gonna keep you warm. Two, help cure some of that seasonal depression you've had all winter long. And three, you're gonna wanna lay down that Midwest base burn for the summer. Once the weather's right, what's the next thing on the list? Gotta make sure you got the right wardrobe for drinking on a patio in the spring. Today, I came prepared. As you can see, this is the ideal male wardrobe for drinking on the patio. We're gonna start up top. Sunglasses, it's bright. Sweatshirt, it's warm, but still a little brisk. Go down the jorts, you gotta choose one or the other. If you're gonna go pants, you gotta go short sleeve. If you're gonna go sweatshirt, you gotta go shorts. It's never pants and long sleeve. Always got to be one or the other. It's a balancing act. And then naturally, you want to get into Crocs as soon as you can. The best way to combat the little briskness of a spring Midwest day, just throw some socks underneath the Crocs. Socks with Crocs equals fun in the sun. I'm ready to drink on a patio. The weather's right. Your wardrobe's right. You're like, Miles, all I got to do is sit down and order a beer. Whoa! Just slow it up, man. You don't just go, hey, I'll take a beer over here. You got to order yourself a pitcher. We're having ourselves a patio pitcher party. Here's why. You're like, Miles, want the beer if you don't drink it fast enough, get a, a tish warm? The outside is the same temperature as what the inside of the keg is. I think more people need to be having patio pitcher parties. And the reason why I get to sit out here and enjoy this is because I planned ahead. And that's what brings me to my next point, the 10 Ps. Prior proper planning prevents piss poor patio pitcher party performance. Say that 10 times fast. Prior proper planning prevents piss poor patio pitcher party performance. Boo! Now, I know there's a few nervous Nellies out there watching this. They're like, Miles, what about the sun beating down? Yeah, you are in a gigantic keg here, but you know, you didn't factor in the sun. Welcome to the Jedi level master training course of a patio pitcher party. I call it the snow coaster. You're gonna take this glass that you're not gonna use that the waitress or waiter brought out for you. You're gonna finally put it to use. Because it's still spring and the snow is still melting, you're gonna have a nice little drift here located inside of the patio. Take your glass, little scoop, scoop, magoop. It's kind of like building a sandcastle, but with snow. And then you're just gonna start forming the coaster here. Some part is that'll cost you extra to get the pitcher with the little ice thing in the middle. Don't eat it. Okay, to recap, how to drink beers on the patio in the spring. Number one, gotta be the right weather. Two, dress for success. Break out those jorts. Remember the 10 Ps. Prior proper planning prevents piss poor patio pitcher party performance. Then you order a pitcher, you don't order a glass. How do you keep it nice and cold? The air does it. But then you gotta send in reinforcements with the snow coaster. And then you just let the patio pitcher party do its job. So that's that. Patio pitcher party is in full swing. Jake, go ahead, put the camera down. The party has commenced. It's a patio pitcher party. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.